Good morning everyone, so this morning we're at a 2010 It's a Vauxhall And it's a Mariva Now this, I'm sure this is a 1.4 engine, Roddy, is that right? 1.4 Anyway, so <coughs> it's, I it's idling at the moment And you can see It's a wee bit reeky this morning uh, Too bit much smoke And you can hear up the front, it's a bit juddery But I'll also show you this You can see there's a few lights on on the dash panel so we'll need to go and scan it for codes but I'll take you up to the front just with the car idling oh definitely there's a misfire going on there so as everyone knows these things are notorious for coil packs going but I'm sure this one was done not too long ago anyway I'll go to the scan and let you know how we get on we've done a little scan using the hotel tool so here's the codes that have came up so we've got a fault in the engine control module here that's the first one so it says it's a p300 engine misfire detected now actually we went in just via obd2 with a little scan tool and so it says it's cylinder 2 misfire so I reckon this thing needs a coil pack again, believe it or not, so I think we've got a warranty with it, so we'll put a warranty claim in against that. Then we'll have a fault in the electronic brake control module. Now we've got this one, a C0244-71, it says it's present at the moment, and it says delivered torque signal, PWM, so I take it that's pulse with modulated invalid data. Now I'll show you the data on this, I can't see anything about delivered torque. Then we'll have the other signals. Part brake module, well that one's not present, we can ignore that. These four are not present either, we can just clear them out. These are not present, and the last one here in the radio, it's a present, it's a U-code, something to do with the CAN bus network, you can see that down there. So I think a lot of these codes, these looks like low battery voltage codes to me, so I'll show you. This is an original uh, GM battery. So the cold weather has just started here. I think last night it got down to minus one or two. So that'll take its toll on the battery. So I think when you originally crank, your voltage would probably get below nine and a half, say nine volts. And I think that's caused a lot of these codes. But I think you can see in there, it's still it's still green, so the battery says it's still healthy, but a uh, nine-year-old battery, I think that could be due for a change. The really thumb I've got with batteries nowadays is five years uh, on a battery, and that's the maximum. Because what happens is, if you end up running about with an old battery, the computer knows that. So what then happens is it starts to use more fuel, so it's false economy to run about with an old battery, actually. So here's Roddy into the coil packs, and how they looking, Roddy? It's alright. <laughs> usually the rubbers. That's right. I already said it's usually the rubbers that go. And stick to this mm -hmm. plugs. But you're alright. When did you renew that? Was that summer? January. Oh, January last year. With January this year. This year, right. But <coughs> I think we'll we, we'll nip the plug out. We'll get number two out, and I'll let you see it. So this is the extraction off the plug. Oh. Oh, new plugs. So what does the plug look like, Roddy? Brand new. Brand new. So the plug looks good, actually. It looks like it's firing. Definitely firing. It's nice and dry. Aye. So it definitely said it came up with scan tool number two, and you read it for the timing belt end, so one, two, three, four. I think just going order the coil part. Maybe the froggies, the French cars itself. Oh, that's good. right, aye. French cars, as Roddy was saying, they read it from this end, the gearbox end, and go back along. So, oh, a top tip I got years ago was always read your spark plugs. Actually, take the, you can take the forum out and read them, but we know in Vauxhalls these coil packs are notorious for packing in, so it will be that. As you can see, I've now got light in the subject. Our top light here is out a little, and that illuminates it. And then our side light is this silly twist lamp. Brilliant, brilliant, and it gives us a wonderful picture. There we go. Cheers. So, 
that's a new coil uh, pack installed so I think you can hear now it's nice and even uh, we've also got rid of these other lights on the instrument panel now we reckon they're caused by that message to do with the torque I reckon that's to do because of the misfire that's why it comes up with that torque message anyway coil pack on a Vauxhall not that unusual cheers <laughs>